Hello, good evening. Hi, hello. Good evening. Welcome Hi. to Hooray's first class. I mean, briefing session. Hello, can you introduce yourself? Joel Mati. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Hello, I'm Joel. Uh, I live in Kuwait. Okay. Can you, is it possible for you to turn on your video? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. Hi. Okay. The, today I'll be explaining you, I'll be briefing you about the Dropbox contents and how you can use them in the most beneficial way. So I'll be okay. sharing my screen. Okay. Uh, did you receive your Dropbox contents, George? Yes, I did. Okay, cool. Can everybody see my screen? Yeah. Yeah, Nandini. Okay, cool. Uh, so if you open, uh, right, uh, there are two folders and you can open the folder which says Hooray IELTS Online Materials. Okay, in that uh, initially there'll be four folders and after which there'll be a few PDF files. I'll explain to you what are in these folders. So the first one is uh, Baron's book. It's just an IELTS preparation book authored by Baron. Okay, uh, in this you will be, uh, you'll have different uh, audio files. And at the end, you will also have a PDF which contains all the questions. And in, for the listening sec uh, section, uh, the audio files that you want, that you have to listen to, will are these audio files over here. Okay, you can just open the questions in this PDF and see the serial number and open the same uh, audio file over here to complete your test. This can be used for your practice. Um, practice, yeah. And it contains all the four, uh, like questions related to all the four sections for your IELTS uh, examination, right? And in the second folder, it is uh, grammar, which contains uh, four PDFs, namely collocations, Hooray Advanced English, Hooray Intermediate English, and Phrasal Verbs. So collocations is nothing but uh, it describes which two words can get along better, okay? Because there are a few uh, words combinations uh, that might sound awkward and that is that doesn't make sense if they are two together so in this uh, pdf file it will help you to understand uh, which two words can fit better uh, like a round of applause ceasefire agreement bars of soap right all these uh, are like um, whispered softly uh, these are the words that go along together and uh, convey a meaningful uh, like give a meaning to the context, right? And uh, in this two uh, PDFs that you see over here, it's nothing but it's the it's just a compilation of all the grammar um, related uh, topics like subject verb agreement, prepositions, articles, and other grammar topics that you can um, that you need to understand for you to be uh, able to do well in the test. So these both serve as a, like you can say refreshing your memories about all the um, grammar that you have studied previously. And at the end it's phrasal verbs. Um, so phrases or uh, like what is a phrase is nothing but a verb plus preposition, right? So it's just a part of a sentence. So in these, uh, in this PDF, you'll understand how you can use a certain preposition and where can you use it? How can you, um, like all different contexts in which you can use it. Everything uh, regarding that is provided in this PDF. And in this folder, it's um, IELTS books, like uh, the actual uh, mock tests and it contains the um, structure of, structure that you mostly, most probably will receive during the exam. Right, uh, it contains all the four sections, your speaking, reading, writing, and listening. And uh, it, it has from book seven to book 14. 
and it has uh, until book 10 there are like um, uh, there every uh, both the academic and general training um, material is in the same book after book 10 that is from book 11 um Uh, the the books uh, the material is divided into two books that is there is a separate book for your um, academic training and a separate book for your general training so you can use uh, these books for your preparation and even during the class you will be asked to um, do your mock tests or write any kind of tests from these books itself and this next folder over here ielts cambridge audio 7 to 14 it's nothing but it consists of it consists the audio files for your listening test so you can take the listening test questions from ielts books 7 to 14 and the audio you can take it from ielts uh, cambridge audio 7 to 14 it depends on which uh, listening book test you are um, planning to do right uh so after this uh we will be going to yeah so after this uh, we'll be understanding what these pdfs are so the first pdf is hurray manual ielts in this uh, manual right uh, there are terms and conditions with regard to you joining um hurray so you can accept agree to these terms and conditions and you can put a message in the group or your the mentor that you are uh, in contact with and the next one is um hurray uh, ielts hurray books and letters essays so in this uh, book right uh, especially for the people who are going for general training right um this contains all the sample questions and sample answers for your first task and your second task and when you are acad and people who are for going for academic training you can also refer to this pdf for your second task where you have to write an essay right in uh, ielts speaking uh, this pdf contains all the possible questions you can be asked uh, for your speaking test during your ielts like there can be a certain theme and multiple questions asked under that theme itself so going through this will give you a vague idea of what kind of questions can be asked during the exam and uh, if you have noticed uh, ielts listening answer sheet for reading listening reading and writing this is nothing but um, um, an answer sheet a pdf of the answer sheet that will be given if you are writing paper based uh, test so if you are writing paper based test you can print out writing sheets and practice on it so that you understand uh, like where uh, does 250 words end how much space does 150 words take and you can you don't have to waste much time on the day of the examination in order to see where um, like count how many words you have written or something like that and in this pdf um, it is mostly for academic uh, training people uh, in this pdf it consists of all the sample questions that you can be asked for your first task like bar graphs line graphs pie charts plans uh, processes everything every kind of question is covered in this pdf and you'll also be given the sample answers over here now uh, in this excel sheet it's nothing but uh, different uh, youtube and uh, blog links that you can uh, visit uh, if you want to gain an extra knowledge about how the day of the exam would be and what kind of questions would be asked what kind of environment would be there during the day of the exam and uh, like how would the invigilator ask you questions during your speaking test and additional points or strategies that you could use to perform better in the last period it is nothing but your performance tracker so at the end of every day after end after every class right uh, we will be given a band score and you'd have to update your band score after every class and after every mock test um it is nothing but to see how well you um, to track your performance and to compare um, and to see your progress right uh, so if you have any questions you can ask okay. so yeah so i'll ask um 
ma'am to continue your session okay so you don't have any doubts with regard to the dropbox contents right no nothing 